Sí. The Town Council meeting, Town of Clinton, Parish of East Feliciana, State of Louisiana, will now come to order. February 17, 2016, 6 p.m. stand. We'll have a prayer by Chief Fred Dunn, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance, done in unison. Let us bow our heads, please. Father God, we come before you tonight, Father God, at this town council meeting, Father God. We ask that this meeting be conducted in order and in unity, Father God. Put us, Father God, the town and the citizen, Father God, on one call, Father God, as we strive, Father God, to go forward, Father God, to make this town prosperous, Father God. That we all may prosper, Father God. We give you the glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I pray to the to the flag of the United, United States, States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. Uh, board, is there any changes or additions that you need to make to the agenda at this time? Okay. Uh, after you have read the uh, minutes of the January 12th meeting and the February 2nd special meeting, I will entertain a motion from one of you. It has been motioned by Alderman Lisa Washington and second by Alderman Kim Young that the minutes of January 12th, 2016 and February 2nd, 2016 our special meeting be received. Are you ready to vote? Ready. All in favor by saying aye. Aye. Is there any opposition? Ayes have it, the motion is carried. <clears throat> At this time, I will entertain a motion, approval of accounts payable to pay the bills. I need a second. It has been motioned by Alderman George Kilburn and second by Alderman Kim Young that we pay the bills. Are you ready to vote? Ready. All in favor by saying aye. Aye. Is there any opposition? Ayes have it, the motion is carried. The next item on the agenda, Ms. Kathy Matthews, uh, she's not here, but she called me and uh, she would like to use the park on Good Friday for an Easter egg hunt. And there's no, nothing special that she needs. We just make sure it's open, the bathrooms are clean, and, and you know, things like that. So at this time, I will entertain a motion so that Ms. Uh, Matthews can use the park for an Easter egg hunt. The time will be, I'm sorry, the time will be from 11 to 4. Chief, is there anything you need to say in reference to that? Okay, thank you, sir. I make a motion that um, that we um, let Captain Matthews have a talk for goodbye. I'll second. It has been motioned by Alderman Kim Young and second by Alderman Johnny Beecham that Miss Matthews will be allowed to use the park on Good Friday from 11 to 4 p.m. for an Easter egg hunt. Are you ready to vote? Ready. All in favor by saying aye. Aye. Is there any opposition? Ayes have it. The motion is carried. The next item on the agenda, Mr. Edward White, you can approach the podium at this time. Yes, right there, sir. <coughs> I'm Edward White. I live on the north end of Bank Street, and we got a canal. It's about 40, 50 feet wide now. It's steady eating out, and they put a cupboard in there, um, and the cupboard is high. The ditch is lower than the cupboard, and also uh, we got a lot of places in there where it's pot, it holds pots of water, pockets of water, and I want to know. Um, I talked to the mayor, and she said. I was asking a question about was it private property? That's a, that's a, a canal going through there. I don't own no canal. 
and all the water come from the uh, Baptist church down there, come right there and go down that canal. And they started eating me up, eating all my land up. Okay. So, uh, uh, I looked at the canal. Uh, I don't know how long ago Mr. LeBlanc they dug that out, did they? Oh, Mr. Buddy Graham was the. They dug it out. The, he was the mad when it was yeah. dug. Well, they should look like they should have put a cover in there because what's happening, they dug it out and the water coming out and washing the bank off. Mm -hmm. In the canal, and that makes you got high places. That's why your cover is is uh, uh, like it is now. Yeah. Uh, but it's, it's washing the banks off. The bank is just going yeah. out in the canal, mm -hmm. and you got water running like this in there. So I, I don't know what to say about that deal. Mr. Harry, would you like to say something? So. What we can do? Oh, with the cover that is already there. We can take it up and dig below it and make it set lower. So, with a dish, with, 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 with a mesh, build up a line with, with the ditch, um, I mean, with the canal. Also, as far as the water pockets, I mean, we can get in there and, and try to, but it's going to have to be like when there's not a, a, a lot of water in the, in the ditch to, to be able to see what's really going on with it. Um, because if we, more than likely, the cover that's already there, when we take it up, the Bible is going to be, it's going to be eight out, right out, nine times out of ten, because it's been there so long. And usually those galvanized covers like that, they, 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 they write. So, we can, if it's not right out real bad, we can save it. But if not, we have to get a price on it, on one that size, and see how, how much it's going to be. Okay. It's two of them. That's, that's going to take a lot of dirt, too, isn't it? Yes, sir. Get the cup. It's going to take a lot of days. Yes, sir. How far about the canal is leading out? From the Liberty Road. I know, but how far by your place there? How far That's, the ditch is there? Oh, uh, halfway to Liberty Road. I don't. Uh, uh, it's two lots in there. 200 foot lots. Lent wide. You see my right away on the side. Yeah. Because what was done? I don't know how long it's been, but someone placed bricks and concrete along the oh, yeah. the uh, the bank of the canal on each side to kind of keep them from washing so bad. Yeah. Did that help? Well, I guess at the time it, 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 it would have been an eight all the way out if them bricks wouldn't have right. been there. We're going to have a, a lot of concrete. Uh, we're replacing some concrete in the parking lot of the fire department okay. and uh, we just got we just gave the police jury a, a bunch of it last week uh, we're going to have another good bit uh, probably next week um, okay. yeah I don't know if you, if you want it or not yeah. or if it'll if it help or not it's going to be uh, some big slabs and you may have to break it up or whatever but uh, okay. you're welcome to it Okay, thank you. Yes, we, we went out there. I'm sorry. We went out there and looked at that, and it was like during, wasn't it cold? It was wet, wet weather. It was wet weather. And uh, and and we knew that as far as that culvert, that it was that the culvert was here and the, the, the ditch was down here, and there was no way for it to actually flow. And like uh, Mr. Harold said, what has to take place, it has to dry out so that, you know, they'll be able to get in there and do what they need to do. But uh, And once that happens, uh, maintenance, you all will go over there and uh and Mr. Griffin, I, I, I just want to interject with you. We're not in any violation for going in there and taking care of that canal, are we? As long as that's a public right of way, but if it's on private property, you can't deal with it. You need to find if it's, if it's not the town, then it's, you have no authority there. Well, the town dug it out. Well, they may have, but I don't, I'm not going to say that that makes it law. So, you need to find out whether it's town property or not. Or whether they did that on private property. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm sure it was a wash stock we've been washing for years and years, so you know, the town probably don't own it. Well then yeah. they, they can't you know, they can't do it. They can't you know, you're putting money and put a culvert in there either. 
Well, the code was crossed, you know, right. it's, it's, on the road. it's on the road. Okay. But it's like it's an asphalt road that's on the road. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. Yes, sir. But the canal is running through somebody's property. Yeah, it runs all the way through the town. They found right that ditch, I think. Maps and see. I mean, they didn't want to ride it that ditch. What's that? They didn't want to ride it that ditch. The town did? Mm -hmm. Well, I assume they must have gotten the property expropriated or something. That'd mm -hmm. been a ditch there for real. Yeah. I'll just. Uh, well, the town has always maintained it as a public waterway, right. then it would be a public right of way. Mm -hmm. If they, they, if they dug it out, they maintained it just like they had with yeah. parish oh, yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You say you had a lot of concrete? Mm-hmm. I don't think we got enough number. I started to see if you had enough number, you kind of put a, Perry, like a, put wall. a wall like and keep that from, from, from uh, washing. You ever stop it from washing? And then we got a chance to get a ditch like it is, you know. If you stop the car, you can go on down in there and put it straight. Over the years, the town has cleaned the ditch out. The, the oh, they've been digging it out. But it's still, the banks are caving in on how heavy it rains. It, it's washing down in there. Well, it's wide. I mean, the ditch wide, too. I don't know. That wall, this wall, that right. But it's, but it's long, it's like a street. Y'all act like it's something pretty long. It runs behind several property owners. No. Mm -hmm. Go behind, uh, let's see, up right behind Pop on the other side, make a pair on, make a sign on, on the other side, and the grinds on the other side. But I said, as long as you say it's been, you know, had, it's had to be cleaned out by the town over the years. No, it ain't been cleaned. They keep the cut. But no cleaning out. The water, the rain would, would clean it out. Mr. Griffin, it, you, you think it's possible that you can come up one day and, and we can go over there and, and look at it and see what we got? Yes, ma'am. Okay, just let me know. Next week I'll be out. Uh, uh, at a conference starting at Wednesday, but any time before then, or well, whenever. Oh, we'll or okay, that'll be fine. Even if I'm not here, okay. Daryl, that, that'll be fine. You can get with Daryl. That'll, that'll be fine. Okay, Mr. White, so we, we're going to see what we can do to take care of that. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Do you have a map of uh, the town, the streets, and all that you might help you out? We have maps, yes, sir. We do. As a matter of fact, they're right behind you in that top corner shelf in a box. We have them. Okay, yes, sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have some. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, next item on the agenda, uh, Chief Dunn. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Madam Mayor, Board Alderman, uh, I requested that. The amnesty program we put on the uh, agenda for the purposes of uh, we have close to a hundred thousand in late uh, citations and fines and stuff that people hadn't paid. We have run two amnesty programs so far, and they did it between twenty-five thousand to forty thousand. And we took that fund and put it in the uh, general, donated to the general fund. So I'm asking permission to start one Monday, the twenty-second. And it runs through March the 31st. The amnesty program and all funds collected will be donated to the general fund. Uh, just this weekend alone, we collected right at 3000 from from people who stopped with tickets. And they had warrants and they paid them and Lou going to jail. So it, tax season, it's a great time to go to amnesty program. Yeah, they've been calling. <laughs> <laughs> they've been calling like crazy. What I owe you? <laughs> Chief, you want to run it that quick, or do you want to have time to run it for the newspaper? Because mm -hmm. it's going to run to the 31st. We can get it in there. Uh, <coughs> if the council approved tonight, it'll hit for the uh, newspaper before the week is out. Sandra, can you, because of what the lady told you about? By no one. Okay. 
Okay. Do any? I make a motion to go with the Anderson Building. Okay. It has been motioned by Alderman Johnny Beecham and second by Alderman Kim Young that uh, Chief Dunn will. Uh, do an amnesty program starting Monday, February 22nd to run through March 31st. Uh, are you ready to vote? Ready. All in favor by saying aye. aye. Is there any opposition? Ayes have it. The motion is carried. Okay, Chief, would you like to do your report now since you you have the floor or would you? I can do my report now. It's real simple. Okay. Uh, for the month, we had 78 citations made, 31 calls were made, but 10 of those calls was all uh, in the parish right here, connecting to the city limits. We had one arrest, one summons, we had one burglary. Uh, and recently, we had a subject that tried to break in two cars <coughs> over by toppers. We uh, obtained video from Valerio, so we know who the person is who in the process of getting warrant to arrest him. The warrants went down. They had 1146 and case followed to the district attorney was one, and that's the incident involving the subject at the school. That's pretty much it. Okay, thank you, sir. Tim. Um, my report will be short tonight. I've got we found a problem with one of the funds and found it and time constraints wouldn't allow me to come over and get it squared away. So I don't have financials tonight. <coughs> uh, we're gonna come over tomorrow and get them ready. So if anybody from the public wants to come, they should be ready tomorrow after lunch. Um, the one modification I'm gonna make is Fishman requested that breaks out the to break out the uh, the payment that's made for the fire station. Okay. So it shows on the on the report. And we've got that in there also. Okay. And that's, that's pretty much it. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Beach. Okay. Um, we've been, uh, thankfully, we've been very quiet as far as fires are concerned. Um, we've been, last month, we've been mainly just catching up with a lot of different projects around the fire department, doing some improvements, cleaning, straightening, um, and getting it uh, more presentable. Uh, put a new sign on the front, uh, added a small storeroom in the back, uh, in the back building. So just little, small little projects that uh, that needed to be done. So we've been taking care of those. Great. Thank you, sir. Mr. Howard? Um, in the past month, we've had um, two sewer paths. One was a main line and one was a service main. Uh, the main line had to make the problem the road that came in. Um, we fixed it, and we had we've had 15 water leaks, but we have we haven't had any, any gas leaks. Which that, that's been that's, that's a plus. Um, also, we're getting ready to do Pine Street and B Street. Um, where, where it is, the covers are too small, and. There's a lot of water when the rain is coming down through there. When you're doing it, it's causing the current and it's making it causing the road to wash out. So we, we're finna get try to get on it. We want to do it this week, but with all, with all the water leaks and stuff, we just hadn't had time to get to it. But if, uh, if we can get the water leaks out of the way tomorrow, we have two more left, then we'll be able to get it. If hopefully Friday we, we can knock it out. Had it done. And that's all I have. Okay. Thank you, sir. Anything from the council? Mm -hmm. Mr. Griffin, anything from you? Mm -hmm. One thing I have, I spoke with uh, Nikki uh, Hill and uh, Gary over at Shred Kirk and Dollar Engineers. Uh, you know that our sewer project, it's, uh, it's going forth and uh, we're going to be having a something like an audit on March 17th. March 17th, uh, we'll have some people here from the state and what they're coming to do is to see if we're following all guidelines if the uh, actual contractors are doing what the, uh, the uh, contract and the work said that they, they need to be doing. Uh, they couldn't make it to the meeting tonight, but they'll be here for the next meeting and by that time we'll have some information 
as to uh, street repairs on this side of town we're in the process of trying to get some USDA monies to match with our funds that we have on hand uh, to and uh, here we'll be riding the streets to see which ones are in dire need of uh, repair and hopefully we'll uh, be able to do them all and I think that's pretty much uh, all that I have anything else Question. Um, I went home on a South Drive. Today I was leaving and people were there. I stopped to let them get the garbage. And they got it. Mine, Mr. Leslie's, and they dropped two garbage bags in the yard. I mean, in the road and just drove off. And this isn't the first time. I mean, I, it just really infuriated me because I had to get out of the car and go put them up and refill the garbage can. But the the parish is just bad. There's trash all up and down Plank Road from the, the parish pickups. But um, is there anybody you can call and complain to? Yes, that would be the police jury because the town we don't. The, the town. The, uh, I mean, the police jury for both the parish and the town. Is no, in no, no. The in charge of okay. the pick up the truck. Yes, ma'am. The I police jury does that. Mm -hmm. okay. That's who do it. The police jury. So I understand. Just call. Uh, it, 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 somebody and run over, it would have been everywhere. Everywhere. Okay. I understand. Just call. Uh, oh, well, Chief Dunn said he can get them for littering. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take the 500. We'll gladly take it. And give us a call. When I have to call and block traffic or until all of a sudden get there, I'm just kidding. Okay. Well, thank you. 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 Thank you.